There's a lot of animes I haven't seen. I really gotta get on it. Oh, I didn't realize she'd been like knocked down like that. Damn it, I missed a good opportunity. Oh, stick it in her backside. I put it in her two hole. Uh oh, I got greedy. I got cocky and greedy. No, don't. What is happening? Dude, me being able to like get a critical attack in the back, massive. Massive there. I did like 11,000 damage. One of your favorites growing up? Is it still up there? In your top? Okay, the wolves are chasing one of these. These are... Okay, you see the invisible something? There's usually ways to kill it. You gotta line it up right. And then you'll get a spell. Some cool. Okay. There it is. Come back. Oh, he's hitting me with the jukes. Okay. We gotta find his path. And then we're gonna hit him with the Night Maiden's Mist. Okay, hit me with the jukes again. He's incredibly fast. Oh, I got him! Ha, <laughs> dude, the night mains miss, baby. I was kind of, I hadn't, I had lost track of him for a second. All of a sudden, white shadows lure, 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 lure. This Ash of War grants an armament, armament. The occult affinity and the following skill: White shadows lure, lure, hold armament in a brief, silent prayer to create a white shadow. The apparition lures in foes of human build who are not in combat, drawing their aggression. Effective on demi humans, even if they are already in a combat state. You know, one thing I still haven't beat, and it's way hard. In this little city up ahead is where I would like go into the upside down. I would legit go into the a, a nether realm and have to fight enemies. And it was like a boss fight and it was hard as hell. Oh, I got the archers on my back. hit me there was a cartoon about sharks on land back in the day right yeah they were called um that show is amazing and i actually reference that all the time that's a good shout it, they are called uh oh uh, street sharks i think the show's called street sharks street sharks yeah exactly yep they were badass i have i'm maybe even in the my my room uh at my parents crib um, might still have like an action figure of it. High key. They were cool, dude. One had like a bandolier like he was uh, Rambo. It was like if they took the Ninja, uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and like a lot of that concept. But then they wanted it to like G.I. Joe it. This game is gorgeous. Is that Jeff underground? Top three easily. Oh, I get it. Oh, the thing I was trying to kill earlier. Yeah. 
Uh, top three easily for Bleach. Shiza. I always knew this city was going to be hard when there weren't that many, if any, uh, mobs as you run through it. It's not until you go into, like, the Shadow Realm. Oh. Oh, it's one of those Fulgo Blooms. These things are cool as hell, like lightning strikes and loot spawns. I think I maybe I've already been through here. Oh, no, maybe not. Hold on. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. They're so dope. I feel like this is a good place to have something hidden. JJ Go is a cartoon. Is a great cartoon too. If you were watching it, JJ. That sounds like the uh, like a a um a straight to DVD ripoff of GI Joe. JJ Go, or is that is it still pronounced Joe J O E or G O E? It reminds me it would all yeah for sure sky surfers i don't know if i know anything about sky surfers do they just go on forever or till you grab all of them i can't remember fugal bloom Yo, I recently got hooked on this. Uh, it's a National Geographic series. It's called Europe from Above. <clears throat> and, dude, I've seen three episodes now. Three and a half. The one on Ireland, the one on Iceland, and earlier tonight, the one on the Netherlands. And it's cool. All right, so it's called Europe from Above. And obviously it shows like satellite images and it uses that to tell a story and show cool things about certain countries, right? But I think one of my favorite things is how it also shows you like regular people doing these really fascinating obscure jobs too. So like a good example, if, you, if you're just random, I'm getting effed up. If you're randomly looking at a map of Ireland, right? And you look at one of the islands right off the western coast. And I have, I've never done this with Ireland, but I have done this with a lot of other locations where it's like, what is that? Like, you see these weird, like, markings or like, you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's something unique about the satellite imagery. Hell, you showed me one with, um, in Algeria, speaking of Elden Ring... That kind of, it's like Kalid or whatever. Uh, anywho, so if you look at Ireland, one of the islands off the southwest coast, if you zoom in, it looks like it's fractured. It looks like there's a bunch of lines, just like these weird lines in the ground. And it's, it's um, they're like tiny stone walls. And farmers there have had to build them for generations in order to like to protect the topsoil from the high winds off of the Atlantic. And so, so it's one of those, like that's how that seg segment of that episode starts, right? It's like, it'll show the satellite image of Ireland. It'll zoom into the region. It'll show the like cool, just like unique thing. And then it'll zoom in and tell you a little bit about it. And then like, hey, now we're meeting the guy who 
not only runs one of those farms and his dad did before him so on and so forth but it shows him and his family like adding more little walls to it it's it, so cool obsessed with it and they have one also for india from above and china from above that i'm gonna watch after i watch the europe ones dude It basically, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of other good examples. Like... Oh, in Iceland, it showed... So... There's obviously a big airport in Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland. But it was showing another airport. And how it became really important... Not only, I mean, obviously Iceland's very well positioned in, in the middle of the Atlantic, right? So it's like a nice layover spot or, or, you know, a Passover. But this particular airport's become really important for, like, emergency landings. And so it was showing how, you know, and, like, basically overnight, this runway got snow on it. And there's this dude who the locals know him as the Snow King. And he's basically the manager... There's, they, they basically have this airport has a fleet, a fleet of snowplows, badass ones, like state of the art snowplows. And this dude is like the head honcho in charge of the whole fleet. Um, and so it like interviewed him and it showed them having to get the runway ready within like 30 minutes because the first plane of the day was coming in and it had gotten snow overnight. It, it's just little things like that. It's just one of those things that like. I got sappy a couple times because I'm like, man, the world is so cool and there's so many badass people in the world that are doing just incredible stuff that no one, like, it's just, it's fascinating. And this is the last one I'll bring up. I won't go into it too long, but, uh, you know, in Iceland, there's a lot of, like, hot springs and geothermic vents. Um, he, there's a dude who's a baker and he uses, he basically has this like little shack built and he uses the geothermal uh, like exhaust, basically the steam, the heat from it to bake his bread. And he's, you know, obviously he's like, it gives it a unique flavor, yada, yada. So it's like, that's a cool concept. Yeah, it's called Europe from above. Like I've watched countless nature shows and geography and world like i love the anthony bourdain series this has instantly vaulted to like my top three favorite of those kind of world culture kind of shows ever and i've only seen three and a half episodes it is just so brilliant like it's so cool the imagery they show the people they shout out, like they were shouting out these two women in Iceland who, so recently in Iceland, archaeologists have uncovered a settlement from what would have been like 9th century Viking activity, like one of the maybe earliest that the Vikings had set foot on Iceland. And um, it's so it's a huge discovery that they had recently or whatever, right? Um, but whenever this series was shot this episode at that time iceland had been experiencing i think it, i can't it was either said 3000 or 30000 it had a bunch of seismic activity like it was getting little mini tremors and earthquakes a shit ton in a short amount of time which let them know that there was all, like volcanic activity likely soon and they they looked at the epicenter right of all of the seismic activity and like boom and where the epicenter was, was it wasn't near any major cities or settlements, which is good, but it was going to be near that recent Viking settlement discovery. So just in case they lost it to the lava, there was these two badass women who went out in like crazy cold condi conditions and stuff. And they, um, they basically, you know, surveyed it. They took further drawings. They even took a drone out and like record like filmed 
the entire compound of this Viking settlement to preserve it just in case it was lost to that hurricane. And it's just like, it's, I don't know, man. I, I was, I'm, a, I'm a nerd for that kind of stuff, and it was so cool. Ah, no, no, no. Dude, I'm getting pierced. I'm getting pierced. Station send Reese James there. Conte's fair. Oh, dude, great shout. Great shout. I still even have, like, I love that little conversation after the French match. Like, they could just send them to a hot spring. And then I, typical me, I say one random statement. Uh, we're talking about some one thing, and then I go off, and then it goes onto a super tangent. A super tangent. Is that what that was? I don't remember making that. All right, don't forget my runes, right? Do I have my runes? I do not have my runes, okay. Whew. Dude, they are just absolutely pepper dying university in me right now. I'm so weird. That is a real college for what it's worth. I think it's a pretty good school too. Oh, I got greedy. I just started swinging and... Oh, yeah, you said something about your uh, kidneys failing earlier or something. Lower back is killing me. I might have canceled the project after the garage. Nah, push through these two, then take a well-earned break. You look like a porcupine. That's how I felt right there. All right, I'm going to get my runes. I'm going to... Dip, and then I might call it a night. I just realized it's midnight. Where are my runes? Don't F me. Please don't F me. I hate this. Oh, I got I got the whole team aggroed on me right now. And the most awkward rune spot. No, no. I hate it here. I hate it here. All right, I guess we got to kill them. There's just no two ways about it, huh? Oh, I've just aggroed another. Fuck. Oh, poopy butt. He's got a limited range, huh? My kidneys just give up. My legs feel heavy and breathing becomes difficult. Um, dude, kidneys are crazy. When my stepdad got hospitalized, his uh, kidney failed on him. That's why I, I, I mentioned it. Um, it it's crazy how like seemingly you you can feel fine, apparent, you know, and then. It could be failing for a little while, actually, and you not know, and then pff, all of a sudden, it's like the backlog of stuff that wasn't getting done hits your body very viciously, very mean. H O T T, hot to go. I can't believe my rune. I, I okay. If you remember the first time I died to them, I even though I died about right here-ish where I'm standing, my runes were here-ish. Right? It gave me a nice little spawn. This time, it gave me an absolute ruthless spawn. I gotta remember these dudes are very resistant to magic. They are so annoying. Dude. And that one over there, oh, can absolutely eat my, you know what? All right, we're going on foot. We're going zigzag, tallywag. 
Can I flank him? No, it didn't let me flank him. Dude, these dudes are mean. I look like a pin cushion. Dude, watching that Michael Essie and Thomas Park No video, it's was it's made it so much funnier. Realizing that he had just not understood the question fully. I it's I don't think it's the question of uh snap streamer well is is Dexter sponsored? Is he is he when he was playing it was it sponsored? Um because I was going to say, I don't think it's so much as streamers or snap streamers playing Wukong. It's just more so like a lot of people are playing Wukong. And again, I would have started it already if I wasn't A, back obsessed with this, and B, didn't want to start another single player game because I start a 3,000 of them. It looks fun. At first, I thought it was going to be, and I think a lot of people thought it was going to be like a, a like a like this game, right? Like a From Salt. Oh my god! No way! That is cool! Dude, no way! I'm so bummed that I'm experiencing this without my webcam able to work, because my... I want my real reaction, but this is so cool! Okay, we have seen numerous walking mausoleums already in this game. I have them marked, like, here, right? There's one marked right there. Um, this is the first one that I think's ever really fully attacked us. That's wicked. Hey, bud, you got anything to say to me? I guess not. Um, dude, that is so cool, man. What's your nickname? Senegal? Um, I don't know. He started with Snap, then he switched. Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah, because, okay, so I think a lot of people thought it would be like one of these games, like a From Software. But I, I've been hearing in the little bit I've watched, I didn't want anything spoiled. It looks like it plays more like the recent God of War games or almost like a, like a Neo. This is cool as hell. My torrent is being an idiot. Why will he not get on this? Thank you. Okay. Parkour poppy. This is cool as shit! This is by far the coolest one of these. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. See, these things basically have like little ghosts. Uh, like barnacles. Like little, see? Death, death, ghost barnacles that grow on the side of them. And you basically help them out by cleaning them off their foot. Poopy butt. Ah, I'm dead. Oh, what a dodge from your boy. I had to dip off torrent there. That animation of him leaping, I think, saved me. If I stayed on torrent, I'd maybe die. Knee. All right, give up, dude. Nice. Here he comes. Come, come. Oh, looking him fold his leg like Speedy does, like little Speedy. Dude, the fact that it has a giant mortar system is cool as hell. Same old thing, I can duplicate one of my remembrances. 
The thing that's tricky about him, I wish Clipper was here. I need to ask him something. Um. Okay. So, at this guy, right? First off, let me mark him. He has got loot in him still. Okay, wait. Nope. Nope. Loot. Okay. Um, notice how, like, all I have, what do we have here? Seven. Okay. This little place lets me choose... Excuse me, I had to burp. Uh, it lets me choose between all seven. Okay? Seven. Now, what's tricky is if I go... There's no fast travel station here, really? All right, before I go... Let me see if I can find a fast travel station. Yes. Oh, please don't be a boss. What is that? Oh, that's creepy. What are you? Wait, is that Queen Marika herself? No, she's dead, right? I'm so confused. I'm scared. Okay, so that place had all seven as an option. If I come to this walking mausoleum, all seven are not an option, which means if at, hold on, I'll get back to that. <laughs> ah, that wasn't his D, that was his prostate, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, same page, I just saw the prostate one. Okay, notice how, what I'm getting at is a, a gamer could potentially miss out on Wait, why did that, what did that just say? It's already open. Hmm. See, oh, six. This one's all seven. Oh, okay, maybe did I get it wrong? But I never get things wrong. Kappa. Maybe it's this one. One of these, it has like a limited menu. And it makes me think that like, let's say if a person went to the one that I just was at, like here, right up in the snow, the one that with the mortars, if I just, boom, I grabbed one. And then later, I don't know which way is out. How do you leave this place? This way? Um, and then later I wanted to do a different one. I could be like screwed out of the chance to. Because the other one doesn't have the option to. Also shout out the Netherlands. You know Austin Powers and Goldfinger. Made me hate. Made me think the Dutch were not cool. I never really hated the Dutch. One of my best friends growing up. His family is hella Dutch. Like the, his. <gasps> oh that could have been bad. Wait, that's not what we wanted. <laughs> that is not what we wanted. Um, maybe we'll just go to this one. That's a lot less hassle. That he spelled his name. His name's Peter, and they spelled it P I E T E R. I love the Dutch, but this episode made me just—they're brilliant, man. I knew their dikes and stuff like that, and how they've been able to reclaim so much land over the years from the North Sea is fascinating. But some of the other stuff they're doing, like they showed a greenhouse, this like greenhouse in the Netherlands that with how much space they have, normal farmers would be able to produce, I think it said 1.5 million heads of lettuce, right? They're able at this place to able, they're able to produce 10 million because of these like just ingenuity like they're using LED lights almost like in a they're basically have like a hydroponic looking greenhouse for heads of lettuce
Ooh, look, this is... Wait, maybe that's why he didn't give me more options, because I didn't clear enough of the, the... Okay, wait, apparently this one's not even usable. What? Why do I still have him marked? Question mark? Normally when I that symbol's there, it means this is still usable. I mean, there is still a lot of devil grossness. Alright, let me use you. Lettuce is called head in English, too. Yeah, like one lettuce. That's what we call it. A head of lettuce. Speaking of that... I saw a video, I think it was promote, uh, posted by the Premier League or Sky Sports. And it's like a person holding what I would call a roll, R-O-L-L, -L, a roll, a bread roll, right? And the question was like, basically, like, what do y'all call this? And it's crazy how many different names British people have, English people, and like, and this is really only English people, um, have for this item. They'd call it BAP or BAPE, B-A-P. They call it a bread, uh, a, br a bread barm. Some call it a cob. Some called it a roll. Okay, I went on that whole spill about the damn mausoleums and stuff, and I don't even know what the heck I'm talking about, man. Clearly. Uh, even here, depends on the region, each one call that roll differently. That's wicked. I don't know if that's the case in America. I don't... Like, you know, uh, soda could be soda. It could be pop. It could be Coke. Um, they might just call it Pepsi, but I've never heard of that for that role. Remember? Oh, here it is. Okay, so it's this one. Let me flip these. I must have used this one. We've used it. Mark away. Haven't used this one. Adding the mark. Boom. Look at me go. But see how you can only, there's only the option of two. So hypothetically, if I chose to make a duplicate of this regal ancestor one at the other more uh, accessible wandering mausoleum, I feel like you're wasting out. Like you might as well do that, do this here if you want an extra one. I should do these here. And almost every city in a state have their own dialect. Damn, that's crazy. It's not too different. Um, that's probably common actually around the world. Especially with like decently sized nations. Size as in like uh, land mass, not population. Dude, it's crazy I can hear their stomps over here. Stomp the yard. Just stomp, stomp the yard. Hold on. Wait, I'm not even at the mausoleum I marked. What is going on? I'm s Yo, wait a minute. Okay, I went to a different wandering mausoleum, which I had marked on my map, but I marked it incorrectly. I put a little chest there instead of like the big structure. Damn, I went the wrong way after fast traveling here. That's hilarious. I forgot there was a second mausoleum there. A whole dialect? I mean, like in and around louise well you know you have like scouts and so in england there's obviously different right you got cockney you got scouts you got geordie um and then in america you got creole 
that like Creole French in and around New Orleans? No, I have not. See, this one also only gives you two options. Past tree crow. Yeah, he sent myself for a loop. Hmm. They both only have those two options. I wonder why that is. And I do not remember using that one. Okay, where's the other walking mausoleum? I know there's one more. Not counting the one in the snow. I guess it is just these. Okay, let's see what options this one has. It's also weird how, how one of the first, if not, no, no, no. I think technically the first walking mausoleum a, ga a gamer is likely to experience in this game, this one, the one that we went to a little earlier, has all seven of them as an option. Another Fugal Bloom. This one also has all seven. I don't get it. I also wish when you clicked on this, it told you what the options were. Like for example, this one, because I recently acquired this, I actually remember it. One of the options is like an incantation, which is like a spell. Another, the other option is a giant uh, whip. And I don't use incantations, so I took the whip, even though I can't use this yet until I have 51 or 21 faith. But you see, it's it's a giant whip made out of the giant that we killed, his hair, which is pretty sick, right? So I've already chose that. If I wanted to also get the incantation, I would need to make this. I would boom. Obviously, I wouldn't do that here because we just established I should do it at one of the other mausoleums. But it would basically then let me go and turn this in for an incantation. Along those lines, it'd be nice if it told you what happened, like what it gave you. I need to even look them up. Oh, that's cool. You you've actually you have looked at their French sometime. Some, yeah, because theirs is also has some like, you know, um, there's a lineage of the French, obviously being their territory for a while, and then uh, like some of the kind of native Caribbean, like the indigenous Caribbean, and some of the remnants of the African languages as the slaves moved, you know, got sent over and ended up in, you know, the Mississippi Delta, whether it be uh, Mississippi or Louisiana. So there's that, there's like a hybrid. It's kind of like the French, a little bit of the indigenous Caribbean and some of the native African. So cool. Well, obviously the, what led to it and the slavery, not cool, but the blending and the hybrid nature and how it survived all this time is cool. Um, I think I'm going to... Okay, I'll do this off stream. I'm going to look up what options are for these. And I think I'm going to start using these. As deep into the game as I am, I should probably have used more of these, to be honest. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is see if there's any other bop, 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 look them up. Mardi Gras and stuff was what led me to checking it out. Greasy Tuesday, what about fat? What's Greasy Tuesday? I know Fat Tuesday. And I guess that's all of them, except the one that I haven't beat yet. I can't beat yet. Oh no, wait, hold on. Beating him. Marty is Tuesday. Graw is fat slash grease. Wow. Speaking of learning something new every day. What the fuck? I never knew that. I didn't know that Fat Tuesday and Mardi Gras were the same thing. I thought they were different things. A. And then B. Um, I definitely didn't know it translated to that. That's cool. I can't remember if I beat this guy yet or not.
I guess I have. Try remembering. Always trying. Yeah, I guess I've beat that guy. Well, we've done it. We've beaten the game. Just kidding. I feel like there's still eons of stuff for me to do. Which is wicked. Most used one baby that that emote is our cells and Barney's is that a uh, twerking Ash Ketchum Barney's that's just legendary this has been pretty productive gotten that beat the rotten guy the like duelist here Still haven't beat the bear yet. Um, we've come and gotten this. Oh, let's go back to this. That's what we're going to do. That's incredible. Oh, I need to give you the link. Hold on. Let me give you the link to Fantasy before I end stream so you can put it in a Barney's sweet spot. That's right. I said it. All right. Let's see what this creepy lady. Is she alive? It's so trippy because almost every time you come to one of these churches, there is a statue of Queen Marika at the back. And then you get your loot at like the base of the statue. So for this to be like the last church in the game and it not to be a statue, but it to be actually seemingly flesh and bone is brilliant. Also spooky. Summon Latina. <gasps> oh, I remember her. Okay, first off, she was here. Uh, your boy's memory is incredible, too, by the way. Um, this is where she started. And she's sitting there, like, holding a giant wolf. The giant wolf is, like, on the verge of dying. And she's basically, like, cradling it. And that was her. I don't remember what happens in that interim. But this is where she's at. I also can summon her. She's one of my favorite summons. Latina the Al Albanaric. Alb 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 a rare case. Hold on, hold on. Latina was renowned as a deft magic archer, but having lost her beloved wolf companion, Lobo, naturally, she cannot move from the place where she was summoned. Pick up item. Silver mirror shield. I don't want her to kill me. I give up. Creepy creep, sherry sherry lady, like there's no tomorrow. My one is fantasy. You're wrong for that. I'm um, uh, the first time tonight. I'm glad that I don't have the chat up on my screen. <laughs> Although I don't disagree with you. Recent items: silver mirror mirror shield. Oh, it's a shield. It's an act. That's wild. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I got a silver mirror shield. The last place I went to look was the shield section. Wow. Shield of Radiant Silver. Festooned with amber and carried by Loretta, Knight of the Halleck Tree. That's badass. Uh, the shape is said to imitate that of a sacred drop of dew, which inspired the absurd rumor that Loretta herself was an abnormal. That's freaking cool. Loretta, Loretta Lynn, is the boss you fight here at the end of Carrion Manor. You fight the Royal Knight Loretta, and then you also can get her little sorcery and do her crossbow. Royal Knight Loretta. All right. I don't know what's about to happen. Should I wait to do this next stream? Because this could start embark on something crazy. You know what I am? As, as much of a tease as that is, I was editing one of my VODs earlier today. And it was a VOD from um, July. And I'm playing Elden Ring. And I lost 90,000 runes. 87,000 um, runes in that moment because 
it's it's when I was in the library. I'm down here in the in the library that flips upside down. And I had died to falling, of course, right? And I didn't go straight back to my runes. And I went boop, boop, boom. And then I dropped down on this thing and I stepped on one of those platforms that activate an elevator. And in doing so, I got stuck down here in a boss fight fighting one of those god skins. And I died and I lost 87,000. So I'm not going to make that mistake again. I'm on 122,000. I'm so close to leveling up. So, yeah. 90k at once oh dude it hurt even watching the freaking vod of it in a month or so later it stung the nostrils especially since my first death was to a fall damage kind of one. Oh man yeah let's not yeah it hurt it hurt all right we'll come back to this i'm not ready to end stream exactly yet i do want to do ah All right, let me go see if this cat's still here. It says he's there, but I don't think he's there. Dude, look how gorgeous this game is and epic. Nice. One of the cool things, uh, again, like Dark Souls and stuff, you will learn a lot of lore if you read the descriptions of certain items, right? Like, boom. One of the bits of lore you learn is these dragons that you see kind of petrified all over this royal capital and crashed. It's because the dragons from Pharaoh Missoula over here basically went to war with the royal capital. And those are the dead dragons from some of those battles. Pretty cool. Don't you talk shit about the potato? I had to. I did. Oh, there's a duelist. Ow. All right, where are you supposed to be on the upper row? So earlier, him and that one dude, the dude who, like, worshipped him or something, maybe he was, like, his, I don't know, his page. But they were up here on this cliff. Dude, I can't wait for Premier League this weekend. Yo, I saw a stat. I, it's not something I came up with. Um... Or like, it's not a stat I discovered, or none of my colleagues. But anyways, it was out of all teams in Europe's top five leagues, Liverpool had the most expected goals. And we were terrible in the first half. I think with like 3.64, something like that, 3.74. Shout out Lyon. Lyon and, and I want to say Bordeaux, but definitely Lyon were, was on the top five. Barca was in the top five. Yeah, that's a big, that's a cool get. I didn't realize, I didn't even hear rumors of that. All I've seen freaking transfer sagas is how Liverpool is slated to sell more players like Bobby Clark and Sepp Vandenberg. All right, he is clearly not here anymore. And I could go down there and look, but I already have our off stream. All right, last thing we're gonna do before I hop off, I'm gonna go back to the home base, try to upgrade that cool weapon that shoots out galaxy juice. And then we'll go from there. Smith Row left, where did he go? I 
That's a good question. Who deserves it? Martinelli? No, 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 no. 11 looks better on him since he plays out wide. Same with Sokka and 7. Lay out your arms. Let's get... No, I can't upgrade this. I can't upgrade my... Damn, dude. It would take my only somber ancient dragging smith and stone, but I could upgrade my shield. I can also upgrade the sword of Saint Gina for Lopez. The bummer, the one thing that I wanted to upgrade, this, I can't. Oh wait, I can actually go buy those, I think. Somber Smithing Stone 3. Somber 3, Somber 3. Right, it, that's the first name that actually came to my mind, but then I thought in my head, the eight looks gr like the eight as the captain, I also think is a great number. So like, I don't really want him to touch that. Eddie and Ketchia. Wasn't sold, doesn't want to leave. Oh yeah, somber three, somber three. Damn, twenty k. Twenty k, be like that. I don't even remember how many I needed. You could, uh, the number 10 can go to Michael Essie. <laughs> Michael Essian. <sighs> Apparently, we're going to get 25 ish mil for Sepp Vandenberg, so that's kind of cool. Although, I don't really want him sold. I thought he, I, I liked what I saw from him in the preseason, and when we first signed him, I was like, he looks promising. He needs to add some bulk to him, of course, but. Oh, nice. We can upgrade it now. And then I already had the fourth tier. So that's cool. We need some fifth tier. We'll go back to that later. I think I'm going to do it. I love the sword of St. Jane of Lopez. But I'm much more likely that, like, since I'm using these two swords and I use my staff, this is probably the more logical option to use it on since it's almost always in my hands. I'll, that's another thing I'll figure out off stream. Do do do. All right, this time I'm not gonna accidentally abruptly end stream by closing out of my game because I'm an experienced person. Don't worry, my see it to the end. We See, this is the lady you bring those remembrances, going back to the wandering mausoleum stuff. This is where you take those. So if I use one of those mausoleums, it would duplicate one of them, and I can bring it here. And if you look at the bottom left, that's where the options of the, you know, like, do you get the, the whip that I showed you, or do you get the spell? But I wish you could see that stuff after you've used them, so I know what my options are. Grrr! All right, I am going to hop off. 